What's up, Flipsiders? So it's wackily. Right, I'm under solar panels. I'm back in my middle school right now. Uh, why? Because I was just driving home, and uh, it was a lit place, and I'm like, if I don't shoot a vlog right now, I'm going to forget to shoot one later. Uh, so I might as well just pull into this really lit area, which is cool, by the way. I mean, with all the lights and everything, it's pretty fantastic. Um, but yeah, I wanted to shoot a vlog because... I haven't shot one in a little while. I haven't, I haven't talked to you guys in a little while. And by a little while, I mean like a week. I don't know. But I posted today uh, my first uh, ever Disneyland vacation, which I, uh, is a video I've been talking about doing for a really long time, and I finally did it. Um, so I posted that today. It's an hour and like 23 minutes long or something. Um, but it's fun. It's fun, and there's uh, a lot of Disney stuff in there that might make people happy and there's a lot of little Jacob and little Christina and it's fun um, so go check that if you want so it's kinda weird because I posted that video of me from when I was a kid I do not have my keys I really hope the door didn't lock or else I am just dumb <laughs> Okay. Um, but I've been putting out videos from like from my past like on Flipsetter Films I put out the Haunted Penguin video which is a video of Monty and I that we made pre-YouTube, like, this is when we were still thinking we wanted to do a YouTube channel, but we didn't know what we were going to do, so we made this before we even made, like, the geocaching video, uh, that is the first video on Flipsetter Films, so, lots of throwbacks this week, but, um, I was not in a good mood earlier, I'm going to talk about my car, which broke down a couple days ago, um, but I was not in a good mood earlier, um, I was just really tired, and kind of exhausted. I've been working a lot recently. Um, I've been working at my work, actual work, six days a week. I've been working on videos every single day. Still trying to get to the gym. So I've just been exhausted. But um, I, I've been feeling fine the past couple of days. I was just t really tired today. And but I didn't take any time earlier to um, read my Bible or to spend some time in prayer. So it's no <clears throat> wonder I was so exhausted. But I just um, I just got out of class and got done talking to Catherine. Um, actually, Catherine called like in the middle of my class because she'd forgotten I had class tonight. It's actually a really welcome distraction because class was really long tonight. Like, and it was just there was nothing to even like discuss really. Like it was just like information was being thrown at you. So you just I don't know. It was just it was a long class. But um, so I like ended up getting up. And just talking to Catherine for 20 minutes in the middle of my class. <laughs> uh, and then going back. But um, after class, I was able to spend a little bit of time in prayer. Um, and then uh, a little bit after that, um, I got on the phone and talked to Catherine again. And we were able to just talk and to spend some time in prayer together. Which is just the coolest thing. Like, it's just seriously the coolest that it's just... That I've got somebody like Catherine that I could just sit... I mean, and not just somebody, but she's my girlfriend. And it's just so cool that we're able to just sit down and and pray together. Even though we're states apart. It's just... It's so cool to me. And it's, it's really exciting. And so, I don't know. Just the combination of all that stuff. And then, um, you know, just spending time in prayer. And, you know, being able to spend time in prayer with Catherine. It's just the coolest thing. Not only that we can, but that she's, like, totally willing to do it. And, you know, it's, I mean, it's not, like, a rare thing. I mean, we do it a lot. <laughs> we do it all the time, but it's just really cool when I sit and think about it and think about, like, my other relationships and what I've always wanted um, a relationship of mine to be is this. And it's just, it's so cool and exciting and it just it makes me so happy just ugh, I'm so flippin blessed like I can't even put into words how lucky I feel um and I don't take it for granted for a second um that me and Catherine are together like it's just the greatest thing in the entire world um anyway my story about my car I was driving that little sucker uh to school on Monday and the radio, like, I was listening to the radio, and it just, zzz, zzz, like, it made that sound, and I was like, is that like a, an effect the radio station is putting on the song, and I left it on the station for a minute, and there was nothing, and so I started switching the stations to realize everything was dead, and I'm like, huh, 
that's not good. Um, so I I'm kind of playing with the with the stations and with the radio, um, trying to figure out you know what's going on, and then um, the lights on my dash flicker, and I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, my car's about to die. Um, I need to get to a side road. So, but I'm at a stoplight right now, and so I'm just like, please. Help me get past this stoplight, past the second stoplight, and then I can get onto a side road. Um, and it does. It makes it. It's just... <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> it seriously was like driving and it would just stall. And all the lights would shut off and they'd flick back on. And like, it was like something out of like a like a bad sci-fi movie. Like when all the, all the controls and everything are just malfunctioning and going wrong. Like everything was freaking out. And so eventually... Uh, I'm able to pull off on a side road and it does die, um, like right as I'm pulling into the side road. Um, <laughs> so I made it, thankfully, um, uh, off the off the main road, uh, and like as it's dying, I'm pulling over to the curb. So it was perfect timing. Um, but then I tried to turn it on and it wasn't even giving me like a clicking noise or anything. So I knew it was a battery issue. Um, but. That's like the extent of my car knowledge. <laughs> like, I can change a tire. I I hit unrecord with my thumb because I'm a doofus. Um, but I can change a tire. I can change my oil. I can check like all the liquids and everything. But and I know this was a battery issue, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Like, um, how to check that or anything. I don't have any tools like that. So I I called my dad, but he didn't have a car at the time. Um, handy because my mom was using the the van that that night for Bible study. Um. And so I ended up calling Gary, uh, Catherine's dad, and him and Bob, who's uh, another one of our mutual friends, more their friend than my friend, but I, I mean, we're friends. Gary and Bob, both fantastic, wonderful people, um, came and they they helped me uh, figure it all out. We had to go and get a new battery for my car, um, and it's been running fine, like, so... There was a question whether or not that it was actually a battery issue, um, which my battery was super old. Like, it was it was five years, and I guess that's, like, the average time a car battery um, lasts, I guess, the average lifespan. But um, uh, there was a question whether or not it was the battery just being dead or if the there was a problem with the alternator not charging the battery. Um, and so we've been I've just been driving it around the last couple of days, and obviously if... You know, it dies again, then it's an alternator problem, not a battery problem. But it's been running fine. Um, so I really hope that we're solid. And uh, there's there's a bunch of rowdy kids over there. I can hear them from here. But, um, yeah. my Hopefully my car makes it to Marietta because I'm going driving down a week from tonight, actually. I will be on my way um, to California to visit Christine, Catherine, and Isaac. So I'm very excited for that. I just hope... Me and my little car make it all the way there without dying. That would be fantastic. Um, well, if the car doesn't die and if I personally don't die, I would really, really be happy if I if I lived to actually see them again. And to, you know, come home after that and continue life and move on and grow old, have kids, get married, you know, kind of thing. I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Um, sounds like a big gorilla over there thank you for watching i already said that ah i like this light it makes me look beautiful kind of except my hair is a mess i didn't i didn't gel it today i didn't gel, i was like like i said i was tired today i wasn't gonna like gel my hair and so it's just this thanks for watching i hope you all are having a fantastic day i love you all and i will see you guys on the flip side